In general, um, many young people come with their own story into the climate space. So maybe someone comes from a gender lens, someone from agriculture, someone comes because their home um, was flooded. So young people come with, a, I think, very, very specific interest into the space. Um, and then Youngo provides them an opportunity to grow and, and learn new things. This was also for myself. I came from the educational side and I had the pleasure within Youngo to learn about different um new findings and um, and also interesting other points. So I think very little young people come into the climate space because of, of carbon dioxide removal or of any other technological um, advancements. I assume this is not like proven, but I think this people are not coming because of this into it, but they are learning within Yango and many other spaces about different findings and about different technologies. I think what is always very important, what we also encourage young people in Yango um, is to do to bring topics together. I mean, we have on all the topics, we have a climate lens, but for example, how can we bring topics around gender and adaptation, finance and agriculture, education and um, mitigation together so that we are not looking as like already in the UN, everything from a siloed approach, but we are actually bringing the topics together. And I think this is also very important when we are talking about um, solar radiation modification or carbon dioxide removal, that we have an approach, okay, where is this leading to it? It's not a standalone issue, but it's- right. A part, or like as you're mentioning, it's it, you're mentioning it's a solution of, of something bigger and of the risk. Um, so I think we have to look at it from different perspectives and what would be the implications. 